so Roberto, like, tell us a little bit about how you got into jewelry making or how you got into designing jewelry. Well, I've been, uh, <clears throat> I've always had like a paper and pen by my bed yeah. for yeah. Uh, doing all so sorts of designs, okay. sketches, everything from jewelry to, to vases to glasses to uh, furniture. Mm -hmm. I've had all these ideas for many, many years and I've uh, been doing drawings, doing some 3D models of them, trying to find out where I could possibly produce them. Yeah. And, uh, and jewelry seemed like a nice place to start as I've been following 3D printing for many years also. Uh. And, uh, maybe saw the first 3D print in 97 or so on and, and I felt it had evolved a lot and I could uh, start using that for jewelry and start with the small pieces that I, it's easier to fit a few pieces of jewelry than a few pieces of furniture also. So. Uh, <laughs> cool. Where do you get your inspiration from? Like what? Your your jewelry is definitely very unique, very different, mm -hmm. and looks awesome. Uh, where how do you get that inspiration? How do you conceptualize those ideas? Like, well, it comes from all, all sorts of things. It's uh, like this piece. Uh, what's it called? Q-tips. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That that probably falling down on the floor, and and uh, I saw that in, in the bathroom. They were falling down there, and. That was actually the inspiration to, to start working with the sticks and building up uh, a, like a physics-based idea that oh. it should lay there randomly but still have a structure. And, and yeah, as we have, we're talking about perfectly perfect within Lumetaro, so so I wanted it to have a random feeling, but it still is structured and uh, simplicity. Trying to create something cool. simple from complexity also. Yeah. We have some of them there, this stainless steel yeah. with a bronze infusion, uh, which gives a nice feel and look. And, uh, and, totally. and it's not only about the, the, the look of the design, it's also how it feels. So I, I try to work with all senses. Mm, cool. And so you, you designed this infusion 360. Yes. And what attracted you to, to Fusion? Yeah. Why did you choose that tool? Yeah, I, I, I've been using all sorts of 3D software for yeah, 20 years maybe uh, and I'm playing around and, I, and uh, in the beginning when I was sketching and trying out I saw that I could do some some sort of designs in some software and some in others and, and uh, just for 3D printing it was really important to go into solid modeling so you mm -hmm. don't get problems when you actually have real solids that are watertight so the, yeah to have the possibility with the T-splines mm -hmm. makes it so you can work with surfaces in, in, in different ways that would be hard and, and uh, compared to classical polygon models uh, like Maya or Max, mm -hmm. uh, I mean just being able to, to do unlimited numbers of booleans or working uh, both mathematically mm -hmm. uh, correct and having the, the organic forms mm -hmm. is really something that I've been looking to see a software that merges these, these two ideas. And that's great. That's great. I think that's excellent. I want to create an uh, experience, so, so, so everything in how we design to how we, how we display things. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, I've been doing a lot of photography before and I, I like to explore uh, macro photography or, or show things, beauty and things that people might not see in, in their everyday lives. Mm -hmm. and, and I've used that idea of making people curious about the designs, how, how they mm. build together and, and work with that. So it's, uh, it's a lot of ideas, so, so I, uh, we've had a positive response and uh, we tried to think of everything from uh, being environmentally conscious yeah. to, to, to having uh, selected pieces for each collection that we donate to charity. Mm. and basically to build a fun team to work with and, and hopefully that it grows in such a way that we can explore all the crazy ideas yeah. <laughs> I have. So, yeah. That's awesome. So, yeah. What would you say to someone who maybe has ideas of their own out there but who might be intimidated by the idea of CAD? It, it's about learning to think in three, three dimensions also. Mm -hmm. So, so that goes for, for any software, but, but being able to actually push and pull and work with them, I think that will make it the first step easy and fun, yeah. which will take you to learning the maybe more complex stuff also. Yeah. So, so I think that's uh, 
something that's strong in fusion that you actually can just start with something simple and see that things are happening while right. progressing. So you don't have to go through a ton of menus to to be able to do something. Mm -hmm. yeah. so, Hopefully have a little fun with it. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Totally. <laughs> yeah. No, so I, I've been really impressed. It's of all the software I've used, it's implemented ideas that I have for a long time and, mm -hmm. and really new novel ideas on making it easy to, mm -hmm. to work and cool. So.